a bus like this is what they interpreted would be a lot of police involved in the in investigation. There will be a lot, a lot of police. It should be. Uh, <laughs> this is very bad stuff. Uh, my sister pushed me. Uh, the first assassination attempt that I faced with was from my sister when I was just something over two years old. Probably I was about like two years and three months, I estimate. Um, and the thing is that uh, when I was where I and where I was a little earlier, and it's exactly what I'm heading again at. Uh, the employees, the ladies inside, told me, they stated to me, they said to me, well, when you come here, you have to understand that we will be video recording you and everything you will state will be on tape, official and this and that. So, I was a little earlier in that uh, and I randomly went there. I didn't take time to investigate the whole thing. Uh, but now I really did. And uh, the thing about it is that it's worthy to go back. It's worthy for me to do the video on basically first assassination attempt in my life that took place against me. Something over two years I was old. It was my only sister that tried to whack me. What started at age six months, I uh, almost ended at my age two years and something when she pushed me from the garage. Uh, at the house basically where we lived at in the city, uh, my grandfather's house, where she would push me from the garage and I flew down on my head about four meters deep down I fell on my head the garage uh, the garage was higher than a scarp that was there uh, there were stairs I went home and I thought a little bit about what exactly how exactly the whole thing looked like uh, and I figure out exactly what the ambient was. Now I'm going back and I'm going to do the detailed video recording about what took place. What's interesting about this is that right now I spoke with my mother and she started to assure me that I was three years old and it's exactly what I stated earlier when I was there. Uh, it's, I was not three years old. I was probably about two years and three months old uh, and I play with my sister whom I condition unconditionally love just like my mother and my father never thought about what went on during MK Ultra in Belgrade or whatever that I was stressed against my mother against my father or against my sister my family was since the beginning of the time something holy to me something extremely special to me i was raised in a, such a disgusting way that no matter what they were doing to me i never took to my heart uh, what i'm trying to say is they have used a regime of uh, terror Bitting, abuse with what they portrayed in the home circle as kind of funny, stupid love, like ridiculous bullshit, like uh, like mommy that would so fucking care for you, uh, and daddy that was so fucking care for you, uh, and sister that would 
give me a gramophone plates, buy me a jeans jacket and chocolates and all kinds of stuff like this. But the thing about all this stuff is that uh, it came with a very heavy price for me. Uh, the reality was completely different from what they uh, had depicted to me. Like, uh, my sister was very, very methodistic. She was very, very materialistic, methodistic. Uh, she was extremely, she was brilliant when it comes to manipulation, when it comes to lying. And she was brutally violent. And I say this brutally violent, and a little earlier I stated, I mentioned a first assassination attempt that took place. You would refer with something like this to the sister. Uh, it's actually very, very unlikely, very highly, highly unlikely. Uh, something that if I would heard anybody saying uh, to me, it rather would sound insane. But exactly what I stated to you exactly because of the character they have created. It's a really, really naive, stupid uh, character they created in me. Uh, they have managed to pull so much crime against me that it really is the reason why if somebody would say to me, Actually, if I would heard someone, somebody saying like this stuff, I would assume that you know, maybe something wrong with a person or something like that. Uh, unbelievable. When I consider over the course of the years that my sister did something so disgusting, not because there would be something between her and myself, because there would be like, a felt between her and me, but just out of being fucking malicious, just out of like going out there and just fucking hurt person, in this case, her brother, her own brother, uh, to, it, it was not successful, assassination was not successful. I have fallen down on my head four meters down and suffer uh, a grave injury not so grave though that's like fucking miracle they said that time i was like a fucking miracle child that actually survived that stuff 99 percent of the kids will be dead uh i only suffered um maybe a fractured skull uh, a crack appeared, maybe, something in that sense, but it was not big. Uh, and I stayed uh, at home for a few days. Uh, I was in the hospital, I remember, and then at home uh, for like, it, it was like bad, I'm gonna say, for about like. 14 days maybe or so uh, I had this shit around my head uh, and within no fucking time uh, not that I could not walk not that I could not that I was not uh, that something would be wrong with me or anything like this exactly contrary it, it felt like I didn't have anything I felt like it was nothing with me the neighbors who witnessed this stuff, like from Kotnik, mother, let's say, that's a wife from the police officer. He is now already retired and she had two sons. One was Tomas, Thomas, and that was another son. They couldn't understand what the fuck, uh, how the fuck I was. My mother, they couldn't understand her, how the hell she took down bondages and stuff like this, how the hell they remove all this mother said he's okay it's it's all right he doesn't have 
uh, it's nothing basically in that sense to me from what I know I didn't feel anything that would have any kind of impact at that age on me quite contrary uh, I didn't hesitate to get in the game at all I didn't consider the injury as an injury for me it was just a uh, uh, nothing really I mean uh, there were warnings that you must be careful this and that and so on I didn't consider any fucking warning so I went on to just live like a normal life I guess that I was so young that the fractured skull uh, did not have absolutely any impact on me and it healed itself like completely but it was, this was not the only instance my bones I never broke any bones I went skiing I did stuff that would leave numerous people with broken bones but uh, in my case that just didn't happen uh, <laughs> But the point here is, what's interesting about this stuff um, maybe is that my sister and that's why I know and that's why I said it was assassination my sister have used the opportunity to get older <laughs> really I, I totally acknowledge that she did this deliberately like she couldn't fool me in absolutely any way like there was nothing that had any kind of impact on my brain or anything like this when I slammed with the head straight on on beton you know on an asphalt basically with my head nothing uh, I I remember my what my sister did to me just out of being fucking evil pure evil uh, now the thing is that you can be evil my ch children do this stuff she was she's many years older than myself but children do this stuff also compared to my age she really shouldn't do any of that stuff uh but still um children do this stuff children do all kinds of stuff um but the thing about her is that I know this exactly what she did once I noticed exactly what she did I told my sister listen I told her when you know if I could I told her uh, I would I would destroy you I would I don't know what the fuck I would do with you uh, because you're evil I told her what you did is evil is like I I didn't even understand why you did this why have you done this stuff I mean why would you want to go and do the stuff like this why out of nowhere uh, and the thing is about my sister is that she acknowledged that she was evil she acknowledges she did this shit completely out of evil but what's more interesting about this stuff is that when I grew up it was the time when not on one occasion but on many other occasions because she knew exactly what she did she reminded me of how evil she was during MK Ultra. she was the one who demanded from my parents literally if she didn't demand my parents suggested and they play with my sanity by suggesting in front of her my father did my mother did they, they it's like a family ritual they would do this shit to me during mk ultra suggested that it's time to stop with this stuff against me uh, and let me free and let me be like a normal child she did not lose the opportunity to say to me well uh, please I am asking you parents to not stop this against him and this didn't happen on one opportunity but many opportunities because 
uh, he promised me that he will destroy you, that he will hurt me, that he will kill me, whatever, when he grows up. So I want you parents to continue to do the stuff like this to him. So this is the stuff basically that tells you that my sister did not consider me completely as her brother, but she she considered me as something else. Uh, I would say that she was in a possession of a demon. But I got a feeling that she gave the oath to the demons. She pledged her life to the demons, basically, to, to the world of demons, by doing exactly what I stated. Uh, I cannot imagine the evil that person would do this unto other person, even less that you would do to your mother, father, son, brother, daughter, sister, uh, I, I cannot imagine anything like this. Well, this is the world basically I grew up from. Not I grew up in, but this is the world I grew up from. Interesting enough is that today, when I asked my mother about my exact age, when I have fallen down, I said to her, when I fell down, I didn't want to say to her, it was my sister who pushed me, because if I would say this, I wouldn't get answer of any kind from her. She stated to me, she said, well, you know, she said to me, she said, it wasn't you who have fallen from the garage. It was the sister. Well, my sister is like 10 years older than I am. And the thing is that I wasn't the one who pushed her. <laughs> uh, I really was the one whom the sister pushed down four meters on his head and she did this based on a testimony that I'm giving you based on her suggestions during MK Ultra torture on how I should not be left from the hook because I know her who she is because I will recall what she had done to me. Um, basically, continually I reminded you what of her crime, what she did to me, without basically allowing me with the family to recollect myself, to collect myself enough to, uh, to get up on my feet through this violent environment I grew up in. Uh, it's just... It's more than admission into crime. It's a pledge to some kind of religion. The only religion that I know of this, that's the religion, it's materialism. It's the world of materialism, materialistic. Uh, that's the world of demons, basically. So that's a satanism, basically. She gave the pledge and lived her life with full obligation, with full commitment to this type of people that did this stuff to me. So here I am and I will do this stuff again. I have to be careful, there is a license plate right there. I did a video recorded also earlier, I don't want to do that stuff. But this is basically the house where I grew up, this, this place here that you see. Now, Earlier when I was here first, when I started to video record this stuff, I was very, very correct about stating what I stated. Right here that you see, uh, you would come here from the sidewalk, you would go down like this into the ground. And it would be very, actually, actually it would be quite steep when this thing would go down. Uh, on the side, however, like this, it would be up, like I can go up because let me see this so to, just to make sure I don't take this license plate uh, right here like this on the side however uh, there was a road that you would go up uh, and this is basically pretty much the way this thing was yeah so this thing here that you see this would just go down in the ground beginning right here uh, where this stuff is now the earlier I made a big ass mistake <laughs> I suggested that 
Uh, it was lower than this. No, it was not. It was like this. Let me demonstrate this. This is the corner here. And this corner was done in a such a way that uh, you would come here from the corner. Ah, shit. I got to make sure I didn't take the license plate again. Uh, you would come here from the corner and there would be like the way to get up. Uh, and you would get up there and then there would be way to get up on the uh, on the top of the garage the garage was completely plain and there was nothing i'm gonna make some kind of picture something like that so that, that you get idea uh through the paint through the microsoft paint yeah so uh, it was just flat basically up like some kind of bunker or bunker or something like that and that was basically was the garage um i think it was pretty done very good i think that the way this stuff was done uh it was actually done quite incredible uh father did quite extraordinary job with the garage uh but here is the thing yeah so if we go up to see just how high this is and then you get this here you get this stuff here um It would be like this, you would get up. <sighs> and I think... Yeah, and I'm pretty sure about that stuff. You would even have to cross. You would even have to cross. It was like a little bit that you would have to cross uh, onto the scarp from that garage and the garage was very all the way up like this something like this it was something like this up to here which is quite a considerable like this and going down uh, you're talking about four meters firm going down basically at least four meters for sure four meters down uh, we're gonna take this here as a measurement and as i come here uh it goes all the way up to something like this and when i say something like this i am six 182 then i would say here as i'm standing right here like this this is about already about like i say probably about one meter and uh a half more than one meter and a half uh the garage was uh higher i think than this here we would be playing atop of this garage a little bit higher that's why i said 150 um and with half at the end like uh, this was a beton i don't know how to say that but structure made out of like yeah it looked like something like this thick at the end like this and then it would be just down uh beige color it was like beige color the garage um somebody put the sign even up to here that's a possibility uh because this stuff was involved in mk ultra would you believe that i had prince charles right there now king charles saying to me when you get up to the garage this is where it all ends for you he stated to me oh my god this was back in he was very motivated in learning about this garage and um I, I, yeah. He said to me, and I did not understand what exactly he was saying. Like, the, the, all this stuff is to me like. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about, man? I mean, and I was very angry about the whole thing because I should have been treated very different than what I was. Yeah. You know what? This. This probably really was where the garage was up to because I see you now the the pedestrian walk right there and stuff. So 
this is probably what it was yeah so um, I did not understood what this man wanted from me I mean I'm, I'm still very angry obviously about this stuff uh, I still do not recognize as valid his uh, problems that he did to me in my life uh, but here's the thing I never will I am pretty sure that my sister when she was doing this kind of stuff uh, she she didn't do this stuff like this to they were trying to make me miserable basically and uh, my sister was not enough old to come up with such a diabolic uh, issues against me so I know that she received instructions for that stuff for that matter and I tell you what Prince Charles King Charles never is gonna be part of my family that's for sure uh, so uh, I, to me personally this is how can I say if I would leave if I would stuck in time uh, and on so many times I wouldn't even be here it was not affordable it simply was not affordable you understand so well voila this is basically the issue um, the garage I think was about like I think it was like about this higher than this and that makes about at least one meter and a half I would say from ground here and this we're talking about one meter and a half uh, and yeah, yeah, probably we're talking about maybe three meters we're probably talking about three meters not four meters three meters like this was really steep down now garage was very steep down this was like a bunker this garage so uh, we're talking about between three four meters three and a half whatever it was push me straight down for to me totally unknown not understandable reason uh, the worst part about it was that she reminded me that over the course of the years that I am gonna find out who she is because I resented her I resented her enormously it didn't take one week for me to run around with the kids already I think it was like one week uh, my mother would get uh, Bolnishka what is uh, a homestay with me uh, they wrapped my hat and I didn't like that stuff at all I didn't want the wrap hat uh, I looked like a mummy boy and I really hated that stuff I couldn't stand that shit it didn't do anything for me and uh, uh, it's, it's like what the fuck I mean that my head is gonna fall apart like a brick or something like that like a broken brick or something uh, I didn't want that stuff I think it was like a one week that I had that wrapping uh, my mother took that slowly from uh, from my head this wrapping and probably within like I don't know I am thinking about this stuff I think within two weeks uh, that I already uh, started to associate again with the kids from these buildings here from these apartments that we already teamed up again and uh, like I said people people were a little bit in shock um, sure enough uh, they guaranteed any baby would be killed on the spot that this was like they couldn't people couldn't believe they they they, they had even more problem believing to see me running around with other kids uh, I got nice warnings to uh, you know to stay away from trouble and stuff like that sure Dr. Janjekovic, I had no idea he was a, such a evil because I like this guy so much. This guy was a fucking evil. More than what possible I could believe. What I find even crazier is that I liked his daughter very much because she helped me out with my niece. I didn't get this. What the hell happened to this man, Janjekovic? But this guy was a Serb and politically involved went ahead when I departed to United States of America 
a criminal went ahead and even forged medical file where he obviously demonstrated that it was my sister who had fallen down. It uh, makes no fucking sense, right? My sister is almost 10 years older than myself. Uh, I wouldn't do this to my sister, but it was my sister who did this, and she also made sure she would re remind me of what she did to me. Uh, <laughs> throughout my life, basically. There is nothing, nothing I can say about this otherwise. Nothing to say about this stuff. Nothing to say. I don't know how much this stuff is productive. I did not believe into uh, 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 demons till today. I didn't believe that people can be possessed by the demons. I did not believe in exorcism. They claimed me that I'm going to have to do some exorcism. Uh, I don't think I'm the right person for that stuff. Um... But I am very logical, you know. And uh, I, I don't see my family in the same light, in the same way as I did until today. Now I see it very different. Uh, that father went on and not only changed everything into something completely different is one thing. At a request of Dr. Janjekovic, this Serbian doctor dictated him to immediately removed the garage and so on uh soon after that he did i don't know six months or whatever year after that he did or maybe even year and a half or whatever it took him it took him some time to remove that stuff um i might have been i haven't been i was completely correct about it um what they stated to me as a homestay as a, um, a mother taking a, a special time to stay with me etc 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 that kind of stuff uh was a bullshit because guess what now i know even more about the belgrade uh, it was bullshit because during what should be a homestay they continue to deliver me to belgrade um people in area did not even know that i was continually delivered to the belgrade it uh, appeared to me because they were updated with my situation when they said when am i gonna go to belgrade again and stuff these people were out of fucking touch i was kind of a laughing to them uh my mother got like three months stay with me and it only took one month even less than one month when they would they were completely crazy about me in belgrade i would be already i would find myself in belgrade already one month even earlier maybe three weeks after i fall i was already in belgrade whatever they did whatever went on in belgrade there was no fucking homestay there was nothing <laughs> at my age probably two years and three months uh it was this lady kotnik a wife of it's I, I am angry at her because you know what she did one time there were trees over there and uh, you know what she said to me she said to me uh, that i cannot climb like like a like a squirrel to the top of this uh fruits that my father seeded over there I was climbing the trees like a monkey and it was her son who was older than myself. I don't know how old, how much older he was. Now, he was probably four years older than myself and nobody could catch me. I, I was so strong. I, I climbed like a monkey these trees and I challenged her son and I beat, his, beat her son in front of her, uh, demonstrated how her son cannot do it. Uh, competing with me in, in stuff and she said that she's gonna talk to the people they're gonna take care of me and in other words talking about injections retardation the growth uh, stuff that is used to retard your growth hormone that's why I'm so angry about her she was the one who did this shit you know Com she fucking complained to the people that I need more of those 
to retard my growth and stuff like that. So I don't know where the hell I would put her. She appeared here like one month and a half after the fall and started to talk to me and nobody told her. Appears like nobody keep her updated that I was all the time in Belgrade. So I know about this shit. I remember this very good. It brings other memories to that. Oh, that's all there is. And uh, I am doing this for the second time. This time I definitely not video record license plate number. There are some ladies in there. They told me, uh, are you going to be on a camera? Everything you're going to say, la 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 and so on. Well, this time it's okay. This is done with the precision. Now, this was at least three and a half meters that I flew down. I guarantee you. Uh, it, it's, uh, I am going to do a little bit coughing. <coughs> I don't know what to tell you. Life goes on. Uh, there you go. And this is a bank. And this and that. Oh my God, how much I love this place. This was my fucking sweet home, sweet home. I am going to do a quickly a few things. I'm going to go over a few mistakes I have done that I need to fix quickly. Got a lot of other stuff to do. Um, eh. There is nobody that would dare me. No neighbor that lived here. No police dossier. Whoever was involved in MKL, nobody would have a guts to challenge me in respect to what I'm saying to you. I was brought back to our old house by a mother of Tomas Kotnik. I was brought back in front of the where used to be the garage by other ex-neighbors and was told lies to tell you in exactly the same fashion in exactly the same way as to what I was told to lie myself on how MK Ultra started at age four, insisted on age six, negotiated at this very table inside of this kitchen in front of Americans, in front of other people. Okay, let it be up to age four. That's how they do it. So there is few m mistakes I have to correct. One of which I have mentioned the mother of Tomasz Kotnik. Let me demonstrate to you. The person whom I meant to say was not the mother this of and that. Oh my God, how much uh, I love. Tomasz Kotnik. Tomasz Kotnik was one house above our house right there. But there was another Tomasz. And this Tomasz was across the street. He also had he was older than myself for a few years, uh, and he also had another brother who was much older than myself. Uh, their mother was a mother of the police officer. She was married to the police officer. Uh, there was many, I have mom here inside of the kitchen. She doesn't like this, and it's okay. Um, Then was a Tomas Benko, let's say, right across the street. That was a son of the police officer. This uh, buildings here across the street that you see, where I demonstrated you right in front of our house. These buildings were populated by the police officers and Yugoslav National Army officers. This was like police military area. Mm, very good, secure area for whoever came here. Um, Illuminatis here, yes. Uh, because this is what this was. This was a part of the city where it was like under like total surveillance, basically total, totally controlled. The more probably the most the most controlled part of the city, not probably, but the facto was this place here. Um, so that's one mistake I have stated. 
uh, then I have uh, stated very, very terrible mistakes. As for what I mentioned to you earlier, they insisted me how MK Ultra that I cannot say H6 and then H4, okay, up to H4 and this and that. That's the same way they brought me in front of this, where it used to be the garage, our garage, our house, and they tutored me the mother of this Tomash that I mentioned to you um, and other neighbors tutored me to say, well, and you must tell that you have spent at least one month and a half uh, with um, like wrapping around your head. Yeah, right exactly where I stand it here that you see here in front of the house. Let's go back right here. They brought me. Uh, there was probably this, I don't know, maybe it was even from Kotnik. No, I don't think it was from Kotnik. I think it was from this Tomash. This was a very good friend of my mom. And she insisted, you must tell you spend at least one month and a half. If you will not state this, I will not commit myself to give any kind of statement, confirmation in respect to MKR and so on. This is basically how they did this stuff. Well, if you mind for the truth, the truth was totally brutal. The truth was such that I had wrapping around my head, which was like extra, extra nasty shit used to torture. Let me explain. Uh, do you know how long I had this shit on my head? Uh, the accidents occurred to me on Tuesday. The day of the week was Tuesday. By Friday, father already requested departure to Belgrade. Wrapped around, twisted with whatever they mounted on my head. In Saturday, I already have a physical fight with a Serbian child in Belgrade city, the same week. One, two physical fights, heavy fights in Belgrade. Did not come to them anything at all about how I came, in what state I was. The teachers in Belgrade, where they had me, uh, these educators didn't give a three fuck about me. If they could, they would have whacked me. The teachers hated me. When they couldn't beat me up, despite all the injuries that I had in an extremely dangerous situation with some Serbian educators in Belgrade even protesting this shit, uh, they soft down, they calm down. This is how it was at the Tito in Belgrade, at the Josip Broz Tito. They calm down, and this is how it went. Uh, the wrapping around my head was used as a form of punishment. It was difficult to breathe. It was difficult to see with that shit. They used that to torture, if you mind for the truth. They were still in the children in exactly the same fashion as to was done in Russia, in Russia. They were stealing the children, kidnapping, stealing from parents, taking children very early age to, I'm not going to say other republics, but probably yes, other republics, not only Serbia. This was a regular shithole, this Yugoslavia. They wanted to kidnap me to live in Belgrade at a very early age. And we'll not forget the children. Neće da bude u Beogradu and teachers. Oh, so you don't want to be in Belgrade. Uh -huh. uh, it was like 
violation I have committed basically by basically by saying no, I don't want just like this. <laughs> 